Wherever you journal, you are home. And wherever you journal, you can journal with Carrie on YouTube. What is a silver lining moment? And I'm going to read from here. In this, I also, in the journal, I also include a section on how to use this journal, a letter to the journaler, as well as what is a silver lining moment. And you can also go to the silver lining moments webpage to find out about what is a silver lining moment. But for now, I'll just read something uh, a little bit from here. You know, we all hear about silver linings, find the silver lining, silver linings around clouds and firmly believe, you know, just like every cloud has a silver lining, every moment in your life does. And every moment in the world does. And by mindfully looking for the silver lining, that is where we build gratitude and we feel our gratitude and we build resilience. And so here's something, I'll just take a few, you know, few snippets from this. Um, and if you really look at the silver lining around a cloud, you notice at first it looks like the cloud is big, right? And the silver lining is just that little lining around the cloud. But if you really look at it, you begin to notice that the cloud is small and the clouds will come and go, but the light is constant. It's always there. And when you look at the light is around the cloud, behind the cloud, it's like that whole space. The cloud is just this, the light is that whole space. The cloud is small, the light isn't. And so that's when we look at that into the moments in our lives. That's just something that I, I like to think about myself and I hope that others, and as you do your journal, will think about that too. So here's another thing. In these dark moments, in the dark moments, even in the moments where there are clouds, the light is there even if we can barely see its flicker. When we focus on the light, the lessons learned, the friendships formed, the beliefs renewed, or the beliefs reset, the love given, the nights held on through, etc. No matter how, how small it may appear, the flicker steadies and shines brighter. The unbearable moments become bearable, just as with the cloud, the dark moments are blips that move away, and when they do, we grow in the light. And that is the foundation of what I call the silver lining moments practice. And when we mindfully and consciously look for those silver linings in whatever part of our life, in the heart of others, part of the world, we will begin to grow and expand the light. It's also coming from the philosophy of what we focus on expands. In this, I wanna be very clear, I write it in the journal, I include that in the workshop series and I'm gonna say it here. Looking for the silver lining moments, celebrating the silver lining moments, honoring the silver lining moments does not mean pretending that the clouds or the dark moments are not there. That is just, if pretending that they're not there or ignoring them, that's not being genuine, that's not being authentic. What it means is we acknowledge the dark moments, we acknowledge the hard times, we work through them, we heal them. And I just wanna say what I have here. It is not about looking for the silver lining moments is not about ignoring the problems, darkness, and hardships or pretending they did not happen. It is not about being naive or looking through rose-colored glasses. It is looking at these moments, working through them, and knowing that you will be okay. You are more than the problem or the darkness. You are the light. And so in finding a silver lining moment, there really is, at its core, it's the love, it's the humanity, it's the light in every moment. And that can show up in so many ways. I don't think that there is a limit on the ways that a silver lining moment can show up. 
um, to give you some ideas of what they are. It can be a lesson learned, a serendipitous coincidence, an act of kindness, and I'm reading from my journal, um, a good laugh, a joke from the difficulty of an absurd situation. My sister calls them life's little laughables and a side plug for her. She has an awesome journal, life's little laughables. So you can find her journals on Amazon as well. Anyways, uh, a sense of empathy and compassion, a renewed belief in humanity, a reset of your own limiting beliefs. So you reset it from limiting to now an expansive, um, open belief for yourself. A community coming together to help one another. I just recently did this Dance for Kindness, which is part of the Life Vest Inside community. And it was an amazing experience with a, a great organization. Being part of that was a silver lining moment for me. And that I had friends and family join me in that made that silver lining moment even stronger and brighter that just fueled my heart and filled me with so much love that will carry me over. Um, anyways, okay. A positive change in someone's behavior or attitude, maybe even your own. Again, there is no limit on how a silver lining moment shows up, but they always do because silver lining moments like the, like the light behind a cloud are always there. So that gives you a little idea of what silver lining moments, the business, the vision, the brand is, as well as what an actual silver lining moment is. 